What's up guys, TechNotice here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to connect your Apple Watch to a Wi-Fi network without the need of an iPhone. To do this, you're going to need watchOS 4 and iOS 11 running on your iPhone. Watch my other video if you guys haven't checked it out, and make sure you guys have those two downloaded on your devices before we continue. As you guys can see, Apple uses this icon to represent that it's connected through Bluetooth with your iPhone. And pulling over the iPhone right here, you guys can see that it's connected to John's Apple Watch. And up top, you can see that it is connected to Bluetooth. Now, usually with original OS 3 and iOS 10, you would have this icon right here. So connected and you have the connected icon. And when they're not connected through Bluetooth, you would have a cloud icon representing that both devices are connected through Wi-Fi. They usually have a proximity of about 30 feet and should range within your house just fine. But with OS 4 and iOS 11, Apple has increased the capabilities of Wi-Fi. You guys just missed right there maybe a little bit. You guys have the new location icon. That just disappeared. But we're just going to go on to the iPhone here and disable Bluetooth. Usually just delayed maybe a few seconds to a minute. And you guys can see the disconnection right there. And there you guys can see the new Wi-Fi icon. It's switched from the cloud icon and has popped over to the left side. This is a much better representation as you can have three signal bars. You can see how much signal you have, low, medium, or high. Before, the only way of communicating between the two devices is to have Wi-Fi connected on both. Now, we're not connected to anything on the, on the iPhone at all. And as you can see, the Apple Watch is still connected to Wi-Fi. And you can do all the things that you usually, usually can do but you guys will see a disconnection icon right up top there. So we can ask simple things as, hey, what time is it? And there you go, Siri replies, meaning that it is connected to the internet. And just to verify one more time, nothing is connected on the iPhone at all. So meaning that you can bring this anywhere that has a Wi-Fi network, even a Wi-Fi hotspot within your car maybe, or your office or anything like that and you should be able to make calls send text messages and everything without your iphone i'll try a text message here send a text message to steven saying hey what's up and there you go you can see that siri responded and is about to send that message to steven right there now this is only one of the many cool features that came with os4 and this is a very important feature. I really appreciate that Apple's working towards having a 3G network or built-in Wi-Fi or a Wi-Fi options that you're able to choose your network on the Apple Watch by itself. This is a really great inclusion. Hopefully, the final build of Watch OS 4 will let us pick each Wi-Fi network we want to connect to. But at the moment, Apple has opened up the capabilities quite a bit. I'm loving it right now. You guys should update to Watch OS 4 if you want a little disconnection between your iPhone and the Apple Watch. This is it for this video guys, hope you guys liked it, hit subscribe, like and everything else.